Hey everybody. Hey guys. Welcome back to the RNA show with your host Rebecca and Andy. That's me. <laughs> and thank you to everybody that watched the first video. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the the happy faces with the tears. I like that oh, one. Oh, like the laughing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. Sorry. And um we appreciate your support. Thank you for uh, subscribing to the YouTube channel and um, subscribing to our IGTV. Yeah. And here we are again. We made one week and now we are at our second episode and we didn't kill each other. Not yet. We did not. Um, we came close. <laughs> um, but during that time when Rebecca had her hand around my throat uh -huh. and I was trying to get away fearing for my life you just wish i would do that to you <laughs> she uh she managed to pull out uh an apology from me so today i, I think That's we true. decided to talk about the power of the words i'm sorry i'm sorry see how easy it was i'm sorry you know sorry sorry apology accepted i'm happy to hear that yes I think of, I think, I don't know. I just grew up with like, it's important when you hurt someone's feelings or you, you're not like aware of the full situation and maybe you like yell at somebody and you don't have all the information and you find out, oh, it's kind of on you. Then you should probably just say, I'm sorry. <laughs> See how nice that sounds? I'm okay with, you know, saying I'm sorry occasionally, but I, I feel like as a man, guys oh my rarely apologize to each other you know, guys just kind of like things happen. You let them go, and when dealing but do with do you really let them go? You kind of do. You just hold on to it. You kind of say, want. "Yeah, man, you know, shit, you know, I fucked up or whatever," and and you just let it go. My bad. You say, "My bad." That's what the kids say. My yeah, bad. Yeah, but we're talking about like a relationship here. I I feel that sometimes we. You look for a lot of apologies from me. Oh my god. And I've already let them go. Like, like, well... No, no, no. But I'm a little lost. Okay, so basically, when, when someone's feelings get hurt, and you're the one who hurts the feelings, because you didn't acknowledge the feelings, that's an appropriate time to say, I'm sorry, babe. I didn't realize you're coming from, you know, you're, you're going through whatever you're going through, or you had a bad day. You know what I mean? Right, but I understand that. But if I didn't get to unload it's not, it, it's not it's not a, a, a negative thing or a weak thing it's it's just acknowledge it's just being a human being but if i didn't unload the dishwasher that afternoon because i got complicated with something else i don't know why i need to like apologize or that you take it as if like i was being insensitive or not thoughtful or that it hurts your feelings or that you feel that i leave every, uh, all those types of things for you to do on your own because i don't mm -hmm. And then when I don't do it, like, I need to apologize for not doing it. You do? Yeah. Huh. That's funny. Like, yesterday I left a big thing of cauliflower out. I didn't say anything. I know you didn't, actually. I don't say anything anymore. That's the thing. I just zip it. Zip it. And that's what happens when you start molding your partner. I'm winning. Now she's not saying anything. See, that's the thing is that he doesn't realize I'm winning because if I just keep my mouth shut, he'll eventually do it. And then he won't get all... Wow. You know. Wow. Yeah. Hey, listen. Usually. I don't want you... This is not amateur talk. We've been together five and a half years. <laughs> We're learning that if she doesn't tell me to do it... Well, I only have to say it once. One time. Maybe twice and then I let it go because he let doesn't like me treating him like I'm his mother, which I agree. It's not sexy to be like, you're the mom. It's, it's creepy. It's, it's, I don't like it, but you know, they kind men, sorry, you most of the time, like your son make me the mom. Well, you know, I have to let you go and let you figure it out by yourself that it's something I asked and you said you could do it. He can do it. That's but, what my therapist told me. He's like, if he says he can do it, you Just gotta let, let it go. It. The thing is, really I'm a big fan of like, if you want something done oh now, <laughs> then do it yourself. That's bullshit. That's not bullshit. It's so bullshit, if especially you... when he calls 
And he's like, oh, hey, do this for me right now. And I'm like, well, do you even, are you aware of what I'm doing? No, 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 I need you to do this right now, right now, right now. There are some... If you really want something done, Andy, do it yourself. Normally, so I these know. matters no. of urgency are not urgent at all. And they make no sense. And I am not in a position to handle it at that moment. And I call upon my partner. No. My partner. No, my 50%. My yeah. other half, my teammate. Do it yourself. And I'm that's, like, hey, that's what I'm getting. From I this. need you to step up for a moment. And it and doesn't matter what you're doing. It doesn't matter how busy you are. It doesn't matter if you haven't eaten all day. I need this from you right now. And then I'm like, mm, sorry. How often do those? If call you if you want it that badly, do it yourself. How often though, is that does does that happen? But it's, doesn't that just sound not nice? It doesn't. But if hmm. you, if you are unable. To, to, to take care of it in that moment and you need me. For example, if there's a piece of paper here at the house and I'm home and you need it right away and it's important, you call me and you're like, hey, can you do I'm this for me right now? I'm talking about a thought that you had though. What a thought? A thought, exactly, you don't even remember. It was a good idea. No, it doesn't do matter. Remember. It doesn't matter. It was a great idea. It doesn't matter. I did I think, have I think a good idea. You have to be thoughtful, period. Thoughtful. So if you say you're gonna do something, follow through. If you don't, you can apologize or don't, but just get it done, you know? And if you hurt someone's feelings, say I'm sorry. It's not a big deal. It's not that I'm not saying I'm sorry. It's just that if you say sorry so many times, uh -huh. I'm sorry loses its lust. Oh, so does I love you lose its, its love when you say it too many times? I don't wanna say that it loses it, Because we it, say it to each other all, all the, the time. time. Yes, we do. And I love that. And I do too. Because I love you. But, and I wanna tell you a million times a day. So if I, if, I, if I ever have a day where I'm like off and I'm really like rude to him, and you found this, I'm, it, not often, but occasionally I'll get like tense and I'll be like super emotional, which I shouldn't apologize for. But if it affects his mood or if, if he gets, you know, if he starts getting upset, I'm like, babe, I'm sorry. Like I'm just off right now. It's not you, it's me. So I'm just letting you know, I'm sorry in advance if, I, if I'm treating you not nice or if I'm being rude. And that's fine. Cause that's like, I want him to know, like, that's not cool. That was on me. Apology accepted. Yeah. But then there's you. <laughs> Here's the thing. It's not that I love you or I'm sorry, lose it. It, 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 it does. Doesn't. It no, doesn't. It, it kind of... It, it really I, doesn't. Look, the first you, time... When, who when said you, I love you to who first? It doesn't matter. When who it said comes I love you from you the first? heart. Listen, I'm sorry shouldn't be who? something... Hold on. I'm talking. I'm sorry shouldn't be something that you say because you feel like you have to say it. It should come from the heart, which who means it never loses. Said, You're not even listening to me. I know, but who said I love you to who first? To who said I love you to who first? I was waiting for it. Who said it? You don't understand. But who said it? It doesn't matter. Who said I'm sorry first for everything? Probably me. Because you have the most to apologize no, for. No, I don't. I'm trying to make a point. Your point sucks because you're not listening to me. Who said I love you it to who? It doesn't matter. It does. I said it. Why can't you just answer the question? I said I love you to her Do you see first. how he gets all fiery? First. Don't confuse and that. Can it's I just, passion. And what is my point? My point <laughs> is... When I told her the first time that I loved her, she probably at some point called her sister and said, oh my God, Andy said he loves me. For the and first time. For the first time. So do you time. expect an apology to be like a first time one shot? When I money? say I love you now at present, do yeah. you call anybody to tell them that I said I love you? Well, when, when he texts me sometimes, like randomly, yeah, I do. You'll tell him, oh my God, the cutest thing, Andy texts me I love yeah. you. Yeah, you... not the cutest thing, but I'm like, oh, and then my sister, if she's here, she'll be like, what? Be like, oh, Andy just said is... I love you, like how sweet he is. And this is five and a half years later. I yeah, love you. I still, I still do. I do that, but I mean, I you don't. Do. But it's not. But it doesn't but make it, you all bubbly and giddy inside. Okay, but it does. Not like the first it time. Does. No. Actually, it does. You would like you baked cookies that night or something. Oh my god, no, I didn't. Jeez. You're so full of it. Like you don't even. You're not even listening to what I'm saying. So like. The first still, time I said still, I love you to her, talking. I didn't have to make the bed. I didn't talking. have to clean up the kitchen. There no, was no, we weren't clean, living no together. Floor. We weren't living That's together. That's fine, but I didn't. There, there was, I didn't have to actually ask. You just did stuff. Yeah, now I have to actually have to ask. That's I didn't just do stuff. Yes, you did. You would just take the trash out. 
You would I'll make the bed. Things. Like, I didn't have to ask for anything. I did those, but I would make the bed my way, and then after some time, I had to start learning to make the bed her way. No, you still don't make it my way. I don't. I'm trying. <laughs> it's okay. He leaves, like, the pillows on the ground, but he'll make most me, of the bed. Give me another five and I years. I don't say anything. I just finish putting the bed back together. And he starts it, I finish it. That's teamwork. By the way, I didn't shrink. Rebecca's sitting That's on a little teamwork. booster thingy. So listen, going back to what I was stating real quick that you so rudely ignored. When you say I'm sorry, it shouldn't be because you think you should say it. It should be because you know. Like, okay, I did something's on me. Let me just clear the air. Let me just fix this real quick. And it's come it comes from the heart. Like I don't just apologize because I have to or because I think I should. It's because I, I sincerely want you to know I am sorry for whatever wh whatever it is to but hurt you. Often, and that's all I'm saying. I don't even know what you're sorry about. It doesn't, well, you don't have to right now. I, I, that's it's, what I'm it's, saying. It's when in the future, if I ever do anything that hurts you, I would say from my heart, I'm sorry. Okay. Just like I tell you, I love you. you it never I gets old. And it, and, it, and it adds a lot of respect. I it does. know that everything you do for me comes from a place of goodness see no, of love of love that's so what i've been saying if, since i met if you sometimes you something gets done or said that i obviously misunderstood 99.9 misinterpreted of the time. right and maybe i get a little bit fussy fussy yeah I let it go. I don't necessarily need the apology. I don't need the I'm sorry. But it's not I just that need a you moment. You need it or don't need it. I no. still want to offer right. an apology. That makes me feel better. But, like let's just clear that, the air here. That's what we were talking about the other day. If you just give me a hug and a kiss, like you. I am good. I am good. I know. I know that you're sorry if you just give me a hug and a kiss. Look, bottom line. I'm good with that. Men. Just say I'm sorry. Just say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everyone. I'm sorry. Say you're sorry. I'm sorry. If you do something wrong. Especially when you do something wrong. But if you don't do anything wrong, why would you say I'm sorry? It's a preemptive I'm sorry. It's an adjusting like case I'm sorry. There's like this comedian, this girl we saw one time, uh -huh. and she was like, she's like, if there's one thing that I had to say if I if I passed away from this world, it would be, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's how I feel sometimes, but I have to stop saying it so much because I usually say it to clear the air so everyone's good, but that's not coming from like an honest air, place either. Cook. The most honest, no, the most honest thing is like if you, if it's on you, you say I'm sorry. If it's on me, I say I'm sorry. Why is that so hard? Like what? I just, I just can't, I can't wrap I my like, brain around it. I like to it's so hard. To like, my, I'm, I'm sorry. It's like when you're a kid. It's like when you're a kid and the mom really is like, say I'm sorry. Have an say impact. I'm sorry. And you're like, I'm sorry. It's I'm if sorry. I keep my sorries sorry. to a minimum, that way when they do come out of my mouth, everything is like, oh my God. Andy apologized. That's, no, that, that, that's that was so not, big for that's him. That's ridiculous. There's growth. And then you call no. your sister. Guess what? Andy apologized. You know what? He loves me. That's that is not not cool. And I have to say, everyone who's watching this, he actually does apologize more than he ever did. It used to be really hard for him. I'm like, can you just please say I'm sorry? And it was like the hardest thing in the world. Like he'd kick and scream just to say, I'm sorry. I don't want to say but, it. But that's a very childish thing. And I think at some point you actually do have to grow up, especially when you have kids, because you have to teach them how to apologize. And so messes up a lot, you know? He, he's a kid, he's nine, he's a boy, and he, he does what he does. What do you tell him? Apologize. Why does he have to apologize, but you don't? I only make him apologize when he does something disrespectful. When you, when you do something disrespectful right. or not nice, you say I'm sorry. Yeah. See, see? I do that when Look, I'm- Look, you can't be I... a hypocrite. You can't be a hypocrite. Try, if you're gonna practice, if you're gonna preach it, practice. Preach it, practice. Okay, well. Yeah, that's right. I'm Look sorry <laughs> that we're gonna have to cut this video short. <laughs> Thank God, over it. Let us hear your thoughts on I am sorry. I think sometimes do people you like say, to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry when I think you often met, when people you say I'm sorry to too someone? much. We oh live God. in a world of like I'm sorry for this, I'm sorry for that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying when you when you generally when I'm you hurt skin. somebody, when you I hurt know. someone, it's nice to say I'm sorry. Let them know you care. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Oh, yeah. No, you can't even say it normal. He's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks for watching <laughs> episode it. two. Ridiculous.
Thank you for subscribing to the YouTube. Leave some comments, some Sweet. questions, and give us some subject matters. Um, anything please. you guys want to hear us talk about, please. I don't want to talk about this again. I don't want to talk. <laughs> Done. Bye. Have a good week.